understand that. Then knock that off. You're wasting ammo. Who else? Always count on my father to send the best. You're telling me. Well, another mess cleaned up. We'll sweep the perimeter and be inside shortly. Copy that. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best. But sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the lion's pride comes in. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. Watch yourself out there. Looks like it's all clear, unlocking outer doors.
Pleased to meet you. I'm Knight Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. Three Dog is right upstairs. You got a Pip-Boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. Just stay out of our way and everything will be fine. Knight Finley at your service. What can I do for you? Okay. Sorry, I'm on guard duty. Wouldn't want this place to get overrun with super mutants. Let's see the odd. If you need something, talk to one of the knights. Babysitting this place is no picnic, I can tell you that. Welcome, friend. My brothers no may be gruff, but they will lay down their lives for you.
The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. Hey, hey, one thing at a time. Nah, your old man ain't here. Not anymore. He heard old Three Dog on the radio. Figured I knew what was what out here in the Capital Wasteland. And he was right. So I filled the old man in. But he split. Looks like I've got my way of contributing to the good fight, and he's got his own. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too. And aim to take it by force. Three Dog is many things, but one thing he isn't is a pushover. It's obvious you're narrow focus and can't see the bigger picture. Fine. I may have the answers you want. We've got one rule in the good fight, though. You want help? You gotta contribute. You want to find your dad, and it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. I like what you're saying, but this is bigger than just you and your dad. If you want help from Galaxy News, you need to contribute to Galaxy News. That's all there is to it. Good, because this isn't going to be easy. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of DC can hear her cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. Yep, that shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone, leveled. As in, we're never gonna scavenge that part again. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one that can get shit done. Your dad had that same look in his eyes, too. That's why three dogs helping you. One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. I want you to get it and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. You're gonna be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you. You look like someone with about a million questions. Lay them on me. Well, it's only the tallest thing left in the city. 
When you step out of the museum, take a good look across the mall. You can't miss it. Just be careful. There may still be a security barrier around it. Head out the back door of GNR and take the collapsed car tunnel to the other side of DuPont. Then take the metro tunnels until you're there. Hey, be careful though. You'll have to find another way back because it's a one-way trip. Man's monument to his own demise. All the garbage they displayed in there is the reason half the world was blown to shit. That shithole is located just off the mall. You know, that huge space in the center of the city in front of the capital. Be careful, the whole place is swarming with super mutants. Three dogs seen it all. The capital wasteland at its ugliest. People killed for scraps of food, wounded children wandering aimlessly, some seriously fucked up shit. If it wasn't for the good fight, I think I would have gone crazy by now. You've got to understand, if I die, so does the voice of the people. I can't take that risk. Your idea of saving the world means combing through the rubble and using a gun. I use my voice. We're two sides of the same coin. If you think always being a target of your enemies is safe, then you got a funny way of looking at things. Okay, go for it. Right on, right on. Keep your radio tuned to GNR for the real gospel. children. You hungry for some 200-year-old Salisbury steak? Or you hungry for some news? I'm guessing news. <laughs> Here you go. Not too long ago, I reported that a cat recently left Vault 101. His name is James. Good guy. Turns out, it gets better. I got a new report here that says someone else just lied down. Thank you. 
Hey! Hey, friend. something? Good to see you. Do I breathe a lot easier knowing that thing is true? Welcome. 
You saved my life. Thank you, stranger. Can you... You... I... I... You've helped me so much. Megaton. Friendliest town around. Security protocol initializing. Station security grid offline. Metro Central. Not risk threat level. Omega lethal force authorized. <laughs>
all you need to know. Let me ask you something, children. Are you hungry for some 200-year-old Salisbury steak? Are you hungry for some news? I'm guessing news. <laughs> Here you go. It's that time again, kids! The adventures of the Capital Crusader! Yay! Hooray! Seriously, how can you not dig this guy? Am I right? Now, I've got new reports from the settlement known as Big Town that Mr. Vault Guy has helped them out with one hell of a mess. Something about a rescue from super mutants, if you can believe that. Nice going, kid. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. Up next, we've got a public service announcement. Listen up, children. This stuff's important. Just a friendly reminder to all you would-be bigots out there. Ghouls are people, too. You see, children, ghouls are simply humans who've been exposed to an ungodly amount of radiation and haven't had the <laughs> zombies, so kill as many as you damn well please. Now, some music. Hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have a chat. Did you know there are those amongst us who would shatter our hopes for peace, order, and security? These radical malcontents don't care about you. They don't care about America. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Let's take a tally of these agitators, shall we? There are, of course, the raiders. Those anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on...
You're dead, meat sack. Kick ass. I'm gonna kick ass.